What's up golfers? Welcome back to the new nine golf channel. My name is Brandon and we got another exclusive pair of golf shoes to unbox and review for you. We got our hands on the Nike Air Zoom Infinity Tour Energy Player Edition golf shoe. Let's open these, unbox them and show you guys what the shoe looks like and I'll let you know if uh, they're worth picking up. Okay guys and gals, first things first, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because we do a ton of unboxing, a lot of golf product reviews, golf interviews, and a lot of cool golf content. So hit the subscribe button. Okay, if you are a subscriber and you've seen our videos, you know that I'm a big Jordan guy. I love a lot of Nike golf products, but for whatever reason, I just love the Jordan golf line. The golf shoes are my favorite by far. I'll give you a little forewarning that I have had problems with Nike golf shoes in the past being too narrow. I have a pretty wide foot, so I'm interested to see if these player shoes fit my wide foot or if they're still uh, getting returned or getting resold because they're a little too narrow. However, let's get into this unboxing. Okay, not as uh, prettily wrapped as I was hoping for. Uh, whoever was doing the wrapping paper job might have been, uh, you know, might have been a Friday, but hey, we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. This little Nike card, I'm guessing, is the warranty card. Looks a little different than the Jordan ones. Like, this thing looks like a road map. Do you remember road maps when those were a thing when you're going on a road trip with your parents? Like, hey, pull the road map from, uh, your, from the uh, glove box. <laughs> you're trying to figure out where on the map that you are. That's just what this reminds me of. A lot of fine print and chances are it's uh, warranty stuff, so don't really care. But now into the shoes. Okay, let's take a look, guys. Don't really care if I rip this because look at it. It's already freaking broken in two. Okay, there she is. There's one of them. Let's get both of these out so I can give you guys a real uh, honest look. I don't know why this wrapping paper adds to the whole hype of unboxing shoes but like we'll give this wrapping paper like a 0.5 of, like the fact that there's in there that's that's the only reason that they're getting a grade like super crumply wrapping paper but whatever we bought it for the shoes we didn't buy it for the wrapping paper so it is what it is okay the fly knit so nike has been rolling out this style of shoe this definitely is not a new style of shoe to the nike golf lineup um i can recall seeing i think brooks kepka was one of the first nike guys wearing the shoe similar to this and from what i recall it has one big spike on the bottom of the heel yeah, there it is. Man, those gold soles, those are something else. That This is why they appealed to me. These gold soles are unlike any other shoe that are out there, that they're very flashy, very blingy. It's very cool looking. And a bit, I'm a big fan of the colorway that is this player golf shoe. It has the fly knit material that it looks like a very breathable shoe. I don't know how well these would do in water and you know with them being a white shoe they're gonna get dirty so they look kind of like an off-white. It's almost like a cream white. It's it's not as white. You can see the the contrast between the laces. So if you can see the laces and then see the shoe the fly knit material itself it's, it's a little different but overall I think the colorway is very cool. One thing that I do notice getting this right out of the box is the tongue. We'll call it a tongue even though it's fully attached, but the tongue of the shoe was, you know, quite crumpled in just the way that it was folded. So the shoe is a slip-on shoe. Nike has tried doing a slip-on shoe for, uh, I would say the last five years they've been trying to go with uh, a tongueless golf or tongueless shoe in general. I've had a lot of troubles with previous models of me just trying to get my foot inside the shoe. If you don't have a shoe horn in the past, chances are you're going to try to break your two fingers as you put them in the back of your heel, try to put them on. However, these look much wider, much uh, easier to slip my foot into. So I'll be interested to see once I get them on my foot. As we said, these are the player edition shoes. So you can see right on uh, the right side or on the outsides of the shoes, you can see the uh, patented players lettering with their logo and the gold just looks fantastic. The gold really shines in the light when it hits it and into the sole, down into the gold stripe that's painted on to the sole of the shoe. I think it's just such a clean looking shoe. If you like to stand out a little bit on your own golf course, I think this is 100% the shoe for you. They look very cool. I don't think you can go wrong with kind of a white or uh, you know cream and blue. The gold has nice little accents, but man, these soles. There's actually a note on the sole that says the chrome finish will flake off with use over time. Hmm, 
that's kind of a bummer. I was really hoping that these would stay gold forever. I haven't owned a pair of these or I haven't used them on the golf course, so I'm not familiar with how the soles will wear over time. But that is kind of a bummer because I was considering if these don't fit to kind of turn these into a sole swap. If you've seen guys on Instagram that do sole swaps or any type of social media that they can actually take this sole off of the golf shoe and put like a regular shoe on. Say you have a favorite runner, they can swap them out. I was considering doing that if these don't fit, but now that I know that the chrome or the gold chrome will flake off over time, I'm not so sure that I want to do that. Looking at the sole, it's definitely not a traditional golf sole that you're used to. These, uh, the spikes are not removable. There's only three of them. So there's this massive one in the heel and then there's two up front. Feeling these, um, you know, that it's hard to say. Like, I, I think I, if I wanted, I bet you I could break one of these off if I tried hard enough, but that I'm not going to do that, obviously. I think it would give you pretty good traction on the golf course where there's not a spike there's not a ton of other like turf gripping on the sole maybe a little bit on the toe but definitely not throughout the sole of your foot but again i'll be interested to see how walking around is because it does have that gold shiny finish i'm wondering if you know you're walking around the clubhouse or uh, you're down by the driving range if you're gonna slide or slip a bit i bet you they're a pretty noisy shoe Regardless, it's just a different sole and you know, they're very limited golf shoes. If you've seen some of our other sneaker videos, I mentioned that uh, we're kind of wondering if Nike Golf is leaving Canada. So again, if you're new to the channel, I am in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Shout out to all of our Canadian followers. The shoes I was really lucky to get that every now and then I just kind of scour the Nike website just to see what's up. And I wasn't planning to buy these initially, but when I signed onto the website and I took a look, they were available for purchase. Knowing the sneaker game and knowing kind of the way the shoes are going, with the resale market, I wanted to get my hands on these almost for the point of reselling if I wasn't going to keep them. So I was lucky enough that when I signed in, I was able to get a handful of pairs. I think I got five pairs of these and just because they were available. Nike's very good with returns that if you are a reseller, you have 30 days to return these shoes. So hypothetically, if you wanted to buy these shoes for the sole purpose of making a profit, you have 30 days to sell them for a profit or you can send them to Nike to get your money back. Talk about a risk-free investment. So the sneaker market is blowing up, places like StockX and Goat and all the eBay, all these resale websites, you're getting money out of shoes. They're scarce, limited golf shoes. Again, I was lucky to get them and I have no shame in saying that I was going to resell them because hey, daddy's got to pay the bills. Overall, let's uh, unlace this guy and then uh, I'll tell you what I think as far as wearing them. Something that I haven't mentioned yet is that uh, they have golden tips. That's kind of cool. That would be kind of a cool option if you were like a lace company that you had different colored laces. I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool. So, unlacing or <clears throat> loosening these shoes, I should say. Let's take out that nice piece of paper everyone's used to when you buy a new pair of shoes. It's the worst when you go to try on new shoes. You're gonna get shoes and the guy hands you the shoe and this is still in there like, bro, like you got legit one job. Inside the shoe onto the sole, it has the player's logo as well. So for like a limited player shoe, I think it's got all of the accents that you would hope for without it being like too flashy other than the gold sole, of course. But it's like the players isn't like in your face that it's like, even, you know, I, I think of other shoes that are like Masters releases or some of the US Opens. They're really trying to make it like a generic shoe that you don't have to only wear it during the week of that golf championship that I think you could wear these and get away with um, all times of the year. Okay, the moment of truth is coming up that I'm gonna try these on. Like I mentioned, I do have a pretty wide foot, so I'm interested to see if these are gonna fit. Looking at them, I just know in the past of having so many different pairs of Nike shoes that this is the thinner model. What they used to do and what a lot of golf companies used to do is offer a shoe in a wide. So I'm not sure why they stopped doing that. I imagine you'd have to carry you know, twice the inventory, but it was so nice for guys like me that had a wide foot that if a shoe came out like this and you know that it's not gonna fit because you got a wide foot, that they offer the wide option, but kind of done are the days of those options. So kind of a bummer, but but let's try these on and see if they fit. All right, guys, it's the moment of truth. We are going to try these things on and uh, don't hate my Puma socks. I know it's kind of sacrilege to uh, wear Puma socks into a Nike golf shoe, but hey, regardless, that's uh, what I was wearing. So, okay, right out of the gate, that already feels too snug like I had anticipated, but to actually put on was a lot easier than I thought. I said that I had uh, 
shoes in the past that had the slip on, you know, with no tongue. And this fly knit material is actually fantastic for getting the shoes on. Um, I did mention that I have a wide foot. These are actually the 11 and a half. I tried the 11s on first and they were way too snug. So that's why I thought I had to go up a step, but just in the outsides of the shoe, that's where it feels the tightest. I do have a wide foot, so it kind of sucks to be me, but at least you can kind of see what these guys look on after they're done up. I'm interested if you guys are like a single bow kind of guy or if you're a knot. I always usually do a knot, but uh, people have been giving me flack for not uh, being able to get by with a bow. So I'd be interested to hear in the comments if you guys are single bow or a double knot. Okay, so the shoes are on. I think they look freaking sweet. They're very comfortable. I can feel the traction I'm getting into the heel all the way through the sole and into the tips of my toes. Again, it's kind of not a super fair evaluation because my feet are super snug and I can't wait to take these off just because it's cutting off the circulation. But I have a wide foot, so if you have a wide foot, these are definitely not the shoe for you unless you wanna you know, wear them for six, seven rounds, try to uh, break them in. I'm gonna fake a golf swing for you guys. You can see what the heel looks like. There is actually on the back of these, you can see this little part right here. Um, I'm gonna do again that follow through motion just to see if I can feel that rub into my... Nope, not at all. So I was thinking when I was looking at them out of the box that maybe this would annoy the back of my foot, but it's like a super, it's almost like a memory foam material on the back that it doesn't bother me at all. But like I said, I couldn't even wear these to the first tee that my pinky toes are <laughs> curling on the inside of the shoe. So for uh, a wide foot guy, I would avoid this style of golf shoe. Okay guys, and wrapping this up, like I thought, the shoe was just a little too narrow for me. I'm a size 11, so I actually had a pair of size 11s and 11 and a halfs, and trying on even the size, it was an extra size up. It was just still too narrow for me, which is a total bummer, because I, I would totally rock these on the golf course. Maybe they're not your style, but I thought they were pretty sweet. So I'm still considering if I might keep a sole to try to do a sole swap, but it might be hard for me to find another shoe that'll go on top. Regardless, I think if you got a narrow foot and you like the looks of them, hey, Try to find a pair. You can find them on a lot of resale websites like Goat or StockX or check eBay. That again, they're a very limited shoe. And if you look at the other shoes in the past that Nike has released, like the US Open shoes, they're gonna go up in value. So kind of the sooner you can get them, if you wanna wear them, the less you're gonna pay. Overall, I think it's a very cool shoe. It's a bummer that Nike isn't really catering to us guys with a wide foot. If anyone from Nike is watching, hey, just offer a wide option, I'll buy them. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications because we've got a lot of cool golf content pumping out. And now that it's golf season, we can hit the golf course so you can see uh, me hack it up on the course. So looking forward to that. We've got a lot of stuff in the works. Thanks so much for watching the new nine golf channel. I'll check in with you next time.